Welcome to Skurametsu's High Intensity Tournament. We are in round one. This is episode two of our 32-man knockout, knockout bracket elimination, single elimination tournament. This is SHT. And ladies and gentlemen, I have a special guest with me tonight, co-founder of the tournament, Tarsus is joining me in the booth. Uh, he's got a lot to say after last week. Tarsus, hello. Hola. All right, always verbose is Tarsus. We are now going ringside. We have the finish it match. A exclusive, exclusive to the uh, tournament match. What this is, is a two out of three falls match, but a fall counts when you hit your finisher, and here is contestant one. It is the Kurgle. Big and mean and ready for action. See. And his finisher is the Claymore kick. You can see it in action here. Big kick coming. If he hits two of those, he will be the winner tonight. And I am being told that he has a very special opponent, an indie legend all across the 2K19 universe coming at you next. But first, the ring is for the Kurgle, and he's going to set things on fire like it's the west coast of North America. And he's doing a gender reveal. Oh my god, Skrull. I think that's a bit... <laughs> Gorilla, I think that's a bit too much. <laughs> Wait, what's too much about that? There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. It's... It's a pathetic act that stupid people do, and they're causing serious damage. But anyway, here comes his opponent. It is the man they call Spike, known in the JFW as Night Demon. His exclusive contract to the JFW has been hindering a lot of independent wrestling. Uh, so he has uh, recostumed up. He is rebranded. Cannot use the Night Demon name because of this terrible contract with Mr. Jim McMahon. This is Spike, formerly known as Night Demon, and he is competing tonight in the finish it match against the Kurgle. And here you can see the Zombie, his finisher. Will he hit two of them on the big armored knight or will he be sent packing? Find out in just a minute. Or maybe several. <laughs> yeah, well, it should be interesting, shouldn't it? It sure should. Now, Tarsus, oh God. Oh. What's happening? All right. <laughs> Tarsus, tell me a little bit about last week. Disappointing finish to your match. But, hey, you've got a hell of a tournament to manage here. And two of the best going at it right now. Yeah, it was not It was unfortunate, wasn't it? But you can't win them all. And he's a hell of a competitor, isn't he? So, Absolutely. Now, hey, Tarsus is a, uh, Mexican, the, a Mexican super heavyweight luchador. Currently living in Fargo, North Dakota. I gotta say, that transplant has really done wonders to your accent, sounding like you're from Northern England. Thanks, yeah, yeah, I do I do sound a bit like that. It's. It has been said, yeah. Fair enough. Well, back to the ringside, and we have, uh, whoa, Spike almost dumped outside. Now he's gonna be suplexed right back in the ring here. And the big knight is firmly in control. You can see, tar or excuse me, uh, Kurgle was fired by the JFW and now sporting those shit colors, a true loyalist to the tournament. Spike, more of a freelancer coming in with his own look, but uh, he uh, he is impressed. He is one half of uh, six feet down under in the JFW, and he's on a ton of other shows, probably the most broadcasted wrestler in all of 2K19 sports. Probably is. Uh... He's, he's up against it now with a... Uh... <laughs> you you uh, cannot, humorous chimp. Um... 
I tell you what, I really like uh, Kurgol's SHT um, attire. Looks great, doesn't it, with the, the black armor? Yeah, it, it, it looks all right. It looks all right as long as it has those contrasting colors and isn't just <laughs> some muddy black and red monstrosity. <laughs> Absolutely, I agree with you, Jim. Excuse me, Tarsus. Tarsus, Tarsus. I, I'm totally Sorry, Tarsus. You sound a little bit. You sound a little bit like uh, one of my former uh, or one of my current uh, co co casters in another federation. It's oh, just okay. that accent. Oh, fair enough. That's understandable. And here we go. We've gone to the outside of the ring here, and Kurgle has been firmly in control of this match. But remember, the only way to score a pinfall, quote unquote, is to hit your finisher. We saw them earlier, and whoever can get two out of three will be your winner. Ooh, a nice block and a counter there, and Night Demon on the return. Uh, no, no, J5. Skuro and Tarsis are the people who created the the shit tournament but uh gorilla monsoon is moonlighting in commentary well gorilla mezzo gorilla monsoon's been dead for about 25 years <laughs> gorilla mezzo fuck's sake <laughs> <laughs> yeah j5 uh, i actually uh i have a uh, too big to fail clause in my contract uh mr Jim mcmahon can't really afford to lose me in the jfw and he knows it so if i want to moonlight with Skirmetso's high intensity tournament tournament. I am more than allowed to, but I am Gorilla Metso, the voice of the JFW, the <laughs> voice of shit. I am taking over the 2K19 wrestling universe. See. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely won't get confusing as we bounce these shows. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this. Tying mm. up those legs into that suplex. Nice move by Night Demon. What a maneuver. And driving knees. those knees, driving those knees right into the helmeted head. It's almost unprotected there, Jim. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> might be doing, he might be doing himself a, a knee injury there. And then goes after that mailed finger <laughs> and rolling out of the ring to oh maybe grab Ooh, himself one. That's right because it's two out of three here on the finish it match. Um, weapons can come into play. There are no DQs, no countouts. Oh boy. You don't Whoa, even need a pinfall or submission. Nice counter, dropping him on the ropes there. Will he go back for the sledgehammer? Does not look like it. If I know anything about 2K19, I'm going to say no. <laughs> oh, well, I was wrong. <laughs> Instantly proven wrong, Tarsus. But uh, sounding a lot. Again, this is a deja vu for me, watching my co-commentator get abused by reality. <laughs> And now Night Demon just sizing up Kurgle, waiting and waiting to see what he's going to do next, and still waiting. Oh, working out that shoulder a little bit, and he's right back on top of him. Beautiful <laughs> suplex there. I don't know what you're talking about, J5. I'm Tarsus. This is the actual Tarsus sitting right next to me, socially distanced by about 3,000 miles, but otherwise sitting right next to me. I can confirm I am sitting next to the Mexican super heavyweight luchador Tarsus, even though I'll probably call him Jim a half dozen times more today. Probably. See. Si. Oh, and look look at this. Oh, picking him up, just deadlifting him into that slam. We've seen Ooh. that in matches before, Tarsus. <laughs> we certainly have Gorilla Metal. That's your name. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> I was going to do an accent for this, but... Uh, I'm but... very glad that you chose not to. Oh, he was going for the AA he there, was. but he gets countered. Gets countered, or sorry, the zombie there. But he gets countered by the Kurgle, and now Kurgle, what's he thinking? He could be lining up that oh, Claymore kick. he is. Oh, he is. He sure is. There's the stomp. He, he's kind of broadcasting it, though. Oh, oh no, he hits it, and he's up one nothing on Night Demon. Night Demon's gonna have to go two and zero oh to stay in this tournament. Will the shit staple Kurgle be dominant or predominant? Yeah, will he fucking win the match? God damn it, <laughs> or won't he? God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> and now Kurgle rolling out of the ring, getting himself a breather. He just hit that claymore. No pinfall needed here. He has got all the time in the world, but maybe not all that much time in the world, and gets right back on him. And here we go. The oh no, ties up those legs. 
and he's just going to slam his face right, oh, right into the mat. That's pretty brutal stuff. But no, Night Demon on the return here, punches him back to a vertical base, spitting out blood, doesn't even care about the blood. He just bit, probably bit part of his tongue off. And now, <laughs> oh, beautiful stalling suplex there. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. And then the five moves of doom. Could this be the comeback for Night Demon? Kurgle makes the mistake of punching him, gets planted. And now here it comes. You got to think the zombie is coming. No, it doesn't go to it. Oh, it's Stall yeah. suplex instead. Oh, boy, into that driver. Beautiful stuff by Night Demon. You see? <laughs> Oh no, but the judo counter there and Tars or excuse me, Kurgle staying on top. No, no, he is not. Uh -oh. And now here it comes, the zombie. He's got it locked and ready. Is he gonna hit it? He's got him up. He hits it. We're oh, tied boy. one. And just like that, Spike slash Night Demon, whatever you want to call him, as long as we don't bill him as Night Demon, we won't get sued. Glorious. <laughs> no, I won't give in. Hello, Until Unseen I'm Walker. Victorious. Congrats on your and victory last defend. week in shit. I will I'll defend. see you in round two in like a month. Gimalo, she said. <laughs> Hola, Unseen. Hola, Tom Schnitz. Hola, Fall Falls. Hola, oh. Lemon is good. Kurgle dumping uh, Spike to the outside, and now... You gotta believe the end is near. You can hit your finisher outside the ring too. As Come long as you in. hit it, it doesn't matter where. Oh no, Night Demon with that quick gut kick. And then the nice takedown and just unloading on, on the Kurgle's head. <laughs> See. Oh, beautiful counter that sweet he sweeps the leg on Spike, brings him back up, and now you gotta be thinking Kurgle's probably looking to end this real soon. Get another Claymore kick loaded up. Oof. Oof, drops uh. him on the hardest part of the ring on that apron there. And now standing him back up. And I got to believe this is all but over, folks. Let's see. Oof. And yeah, he's having his way with Spike right now. <laughs> Indeed, Lingo. Oh. <laughs> oh no, look at this though, the counter, he ducks him. No, he does not. Kurgle staying on top here. Oh, but he's a little tired himself. All that armor in a wrestling ring. Hot arena here in Florence, Italy. That's right, we're an international broadcast tonight. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I'm Tarsus Lemon. <laughs> yeah, we are co-hosting with Tarsus himself, co-founder of the shit tournament. Oh, and now Night Demon picking up that sledgehammer. He's debating, should I hit him with it? Should I not hit him with it? I don't. Yes, I should hit him with Whoa. it. Look at that. Oh, oh no. Brutal. Two savage hits. Oh, no. And just like that, Spike is right back in this and he's dodged him. Oh, beautiful German suplex there. Standing oh. him up. Oh, he's trying to gouge through that eye visor. Probably didn't have a ton of success. Maybe he bent it, though. And it looks like Kurgle is, is a little bit stunned by that. Into another. Oh, oh the, the rolling suplexes. Nope. Oh, unloads. Yeah, unloads the lariat there, Tarsus. Yeah. Oh, did. he's going to do it again. Oh, boy. This is dominating from... Uh, Spike, isn't it? Sure is. He's really made oh, it. Oh, there's the AA! The zombie! Oh. And he's won it! He's won it! Spike has won it! He has defeated the Kurgle! And he will be advancing to round two! And folks, you know what that means? He's gonna be lined up against the other undead man in this tournament, Gengar! Oh, boy. Next! Not next week. Next round, whenever we get to the hat, once we get through all these other first round matches oh that's gonna be amazing isn't it sure is undead fest coming up in round two big win for night demon slash spike <laughs> too many name too many name changes for one wednesday night oh boy this is crazy just as long as everyone knows i'm tarsus <laughs> Yep, my co-commentator, Tarsus, losing last week in round one, unfortunately, but he put on a hell of a show, and he's hosting a hell of a tournament. Next up, though, it's a 1v1 normal match. 
get excited. You don't see too many of these. And I'm being told that we are going to see the grand debut of a guy who has never wrestled before. He's been hanging around these parts a little bit, and I hear he's a close personal friend of Skurametso himself. But first, we've got Le Bread Mask, the Friday fuckboy, Tom Schniz. He's here, and his manager for the night is Flicky Flack, who is coming out with him. See, si. hello. Hola, Tony. Oh. <laughs> You got to believe, J5, I could not put Tom Brady in this tournament. It wouldn't be fair to everyone else, and I wouldn't stop <laughs> masturbating trying to watch his matches. <laughs> and here he comes. Get a load of this piece of crap. <laughs> Uh -huh, it's the blue bomber. Uh, speaking of, it is blue bomber. He's in the house. He's been watching for a long time. He has yet to make a debut, and here he comes, the blue bomber, using a bit of nepotism to qualify for this tournament. But it's all good in the hood. And look at that, very proud of his one bicep. <laughs> Likes his abs quite a bit too. That's amazing. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> oh boy. I'm being told he is a cruiserweight weighing in right at 205, but he uh, he's a powerhouse uh, trained by Tony Nice uh, with a few uh, changes to his pretty terrible fucking moveset. Uh, <laughs> Really likes his uh, quote-unquote washboard abs, though, and uh, uses a lot of power and a good hybrid of agility and strength. Should be a fun one against the original Plim Plom Pluserweight himself, <laughs> Le Bread Mask. Can these two put on a classic, or will this be a one-way squash? Because as I know the Friday fuckboy, he generally <laughs> underperforms. <laughs> He looks really good though, doesn't he? He's one of the few wrestlers in the JFW uh, who doesn't actually look like a cartoon character, so very appropriate that he's up against the Blue Bomber. <laughs> Absolutely, and here we go. Nice takedown, showing that strength for a Plim Plom Pluserweight himself. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, and ref's going to have to separate him here. These two, Tom Schniz there, the Le Bread Mask, trying to show he's not afraid of his power. He'll, he'll get him either way. He'll lock him up and wrestle him. But I think this one's going to come down to some high-flying action. I'm going to have to pick this newcomer, the Blue, Le, the blue Bomber, because <laughs> Tom Schniz has no, no idea what he's got, whereas uh, I'm sure Blue Bomber knows exactly what Le Bread Mask can bring to the table. Yeah, the blimblom blue bomber. <laughs> I I thought about it, Night Demon. I decided to go for something cooler looking. You're right, though. That would have been good. Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah, that would work, wouldn't it, with a big hand? Luckily, I've got no idea who Mega Man is, so it doesn't bother me. <laughs> you didn't grow up in the 80s and 90s and have a Nintendo? No. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, there's no, there should be no surprise there, Lemon, that Tarsus does not like Mega Man, because if we know anything about Tarsus, <laughs> it's that he hates any video game that will ever challenge him whatsoever <laughs> and has no patience for it. He would literally burn into a rage fucking fire inferno trying to play Mega Man. <laughs> Although, holy crap, that would be a good stream. <laughs> no, never heard of it. All right, but back to the action here. Nice uppercut. Oh, look at that. Le Bread Mask dumping, dumping the Blue Bomber outside. We never had a Mega Man in, in Mexico. In, in Fair Scotland. enough. <laughs> Now you gotta ask yourself, is a guy like Flicky Flack 
uh, not known for uh, a whole lot of personality. Is he going to have an impact on this match, Jim? Tarsus. Tarsus, yeah. <laughs> My name's Tarsus. I know I do sound a lot like people say you, that. You, listen, like Jim. listen let's, let's just get this out of the way right now. You look a lot like Jimmy Minmax Tastic. <laughs> As we've all learned, can be abused for nefarious, because I won't get you started on that one. You don't need to commit to anything there, but uh, you do look a lot like the guy. Yeah, yeah. You're well, twice that, his size, but <laughs> that son of a bitch beat the crap out of me, didn't he, and impersonated me. But I got my own back. I, I've more or less retired him. I think he hasn't. I haven't seen him in ages. I, I would be shocked to see him ever again. Brilliant. Get it shocked. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do sound a lot different to when I had that mic battle. Yeah. Um, I've since I've taken elocution lessons. <laughs> I forget what he's on like. Oh, look at this maneuver! Oh, very nice springboard drop kick. He's keeping he's keeping uh, Blue Bomber on his back feet, and there are countouts in this match, so Ooh. both of these guys need to be aware. Don't know what would happen in the event of a double countout, but I hope both of these guys have the ring awareness to not allow that to happen. I would imagine if there, if there was a if there was a that it would be predetermined that there wouldn't be a double countout. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, this is uh, this is as live as they come, Tarsus. So uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, sorry, my mistake. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> Double count out Bowser gets the win. Oh, great. Oh, and he gets in at the six count there, and uh, the blue bomber is in charge right now, stomping on that hamstring. No. Oh, and he's just working over that knee now. Don't know if he has a leg-based finisher, but he certainly is tenderizing the breaded ass cheeks <laughs> of the red mask. <laughs> I also, I, you know, halfway through the uh, pre-taping of this match that didn't happen. I also was like, J5 is definitely going to call this guy Skeletor. <laughs> Not even kidding. I was like, it'll either be him or Bezel. Brilliant. Oh, dear. Yeah, this is a very competitive match, isn't it? <laughs> Born at the wrestler, Richie. <laughs> yeah, very even. This is probably one of the better performances we've ever seen from the Le Bread Mask. Really kind of begs the question if the JFW holds guys like him. Oh, no, the ref down there. And now things could get exciting. Flicky Flack, not known for exciting people, could make something happen here with that ref down. Nope. <laughs> Looks like the ref's back up. Flicky didn't do a goddamn thing. Oh, look at this, no. though. Hangs his head up, kicks him between the legs. And what a maneuver by Le Bread Mask. See. A plim plum play. Oh, and nice, uh, nice pickup here. Yeah, really seeing some stuff from the bread mask here. I think the JFW holds guys like these back, and that's a real shame. But that's why the the, the Skirmetso High Intensity Tournament was created to begin with. It was to showcase these guys and going up top row. Oh, the oh no, he got the knees up. Oh. He got the knees up on that. Uh, uh, oof, that looked brutal. Oh, oh, the the no Arclay O out of nowhere. The bread mass recovering quickly and going in for the pin. That's got to be it. Oh, no. The two count kick out. Unbelievable. Jeff. Flicky Flax enjoying it there. Setting the world on fire with a <laughs> <laughs> little bit of cheering. <laughs> Management is a pretty good role for a guy like that. All he has to do is shake his arms a little bit and try to look excited. Uh, <laughs> God help us all if you know he needs to talk for his uh, or advocate for the bread mask. <laughs> yeah. And just back and forth between these two. Oh, what a beautiful move. maneuver! Yeah, absolutely love it. And LeBron says he's gonna try this top rope again here. Oh, <laughs> we see something different. Oh. Yeah, we do. Oh no, <laughs> he. he Finds no one that's two over oh two from the top rope. I think that was a 450 oh, splash. And now, uh oh, what's coming here? Oh, oh 
Oh, wow. Oh, what a maneuver. Mm. That's a finisher right there. Good night, LeBret Mass. Blue Bomber hits the oh. rainbow cutter. No, the two count kick out. Unbelievable, <laughs> unbelievable stuff. That is a finishing maneuver for the ages, but it's not enough. And now Blue Bomber asking, what else has he got to do? He's got to go to work on the bread mask. Whoa. Oh, he does. Nice. Beautiful springboard there. Gets that elbow driven right into the breaded face. And now. The <laughs> breaded face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that gut kick. No, countered. Look at this match. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful moonsault flip kick there. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's Blue Bomber Lean Gary. <laughs> and Ansi, that fucking cracked me up. Oh, dear. Ansi. <laughs> 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 oh, and another two count kick out. These guys are going for it tonight. And why wouldn't you? A single elimination tournament. You want to make a name for yourself. You got to go all the way. Oh, look at this. He hangs on. Brings him back up here. Oh, oh beautiful combination of suplexes. The bread mask is fired up. Can he hit him with a plimplom plex to finish him off? That's the question. No, oh, no, he claps the head and encounters and rolls out of the ring. And now Le, uh, Blue Bomber is going to have just a couple minutes of respite here, but he's going to go right after the bread mask, slam him into the apron. I mean, see, see, see. <laughs> see. <laughs> and uh, Lean Gare, if you didn't hear, Tarsus joining us in the commentary booth. We might call him Jims a million times, but that's just the uh, muscle memory. <laughs> My tongue is the strongest muscle memorizer I've got, Jim. <laughs> oh, Tarsus. baby. God damn it. <laughs> and here we go, top rope. No, he misses with the top rope elbow. Trying to drive that gun arm into him. Misses with it. <laughs> And now the bread mask sends him into the corner and misses with a drop kick of his own. Oh, and now they're just going to slug it out. A big, a slug fest like this, a power fest is going to favor Blue Bomber, a much bigger plim plum loser weight. The speed game really going to the bread mask, but there's a power move for you. Look at this. Oh, oh he runs them into the turnbuckles. Unbelievable showing by the bread mask tonight. Incredible. The Friday fuckboy running off the ropes. Oh, what a kick to the back of the head there. Wrapping around with his foot. Awesome stuff. And now he, he might have him down here. Goes for the pin. No, Just the two count bigger. kick out again. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's that's what a power bomb is, J5. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, it's Ooh, some kind and of now stretch. Stre yeah, trying to maybe slow this down, <laughs> wear out the powerhouse. <laughs> will he tap? Probably not. Well, maybe. Maybe he will. Maybe, oh, yeah. no. This that would be a hell of a way match, to lose the match. Yeah. This could now he's be. hanging on. He's got him in the middle. No, there he goes. He's elbowing that leg out and just muscling his way out of this one. Oh, and he does. He savagely. And then there's that hip toss, and he's free. Oh, but he took some damage from that one. Indeed he did. Hola, Goliath Games. Ooh, what is this? Look <laughs> at this maneuver. That's a hell of a way to corkscrew someone up for a power bomb. Yeah. <laughs> Blue brief flavored <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> And the blue bomber dumped outside. Oh, no, he hangs on. Flicky Flack making sure to not come anywhere near doing anything of relevance or interest. But he doesn't need to. Oh, my God. Spikes his head off the apron there. Do you see him flip there, Tyrus? is unbelievable. I sure did. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still laughing at the blue free play with Gundam. That's fine. Is this and then it? the pin. Ooh. No two count kick out again. Oh. oh, whoops, I, for, I forgot uh, my controller might have turned <laughs> off there, and I forgot to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me, folks. That happens a lot, and I have to edit it out. I must have missed uh, one. That's the danger. That's the da Look, that's the danger of live TV show, uh, guys. Yeah, you never know production <laughs> truck problems there. My bad. 
<laughs> yeah, live. Oh, oh, don't you know Tony plays poorly? I am a master of live editing <laughs> just so Jim can cheat at Blood Bowl. <laughs> just ask Voodoo Mike. Dod, Dod as well, Dod. Oh, oh sorry, was that Dod? That might have been yeah, Dod. It was yeah. Dod, yeah, I remember. Because you didn't just want oh, to he's... say no. Oh, look at this! No! Oh! Wrenching that upper back there, and he's going up top for a third time. Will he be 0 for 3, folks? Another 450? Oh, no, no he's going one. for a, a move. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I don't, what an amazing I don't move know what he did there. He jumped up to the rafters, though. For fuck's sake, 450 Stop or something. Shit. Good. Who knows? Yeah. But it didn't work out for Incredible him. Incredible move. But he's still in control of the blue bomber here. <laughs> no, he's. Oh, he counters, grabs the foot. And he's fighting his way out. And nice counter there. All raw power for the Blue Bomber. And if he's going to have a shot, it's got to be in this opening. Because these guys have been going for a marathon here. Absolutely. <laughs> and he counters him again. They don't want to end this thing. Big Boot puts him down. The bread mask flicky willing him on here. Gets him up. Oh, could we see a... Oh! No, he counters out. Counters out. <laughs> and another one of those moonsault flip kicks. What a match. <laughs> and yeah, J5, the bread mask's feet are twice the size of Santa Yeah, they sure, they sure are. And now Blue Bomber just saying, screw this. I'm just going to kick your entire chest in and then <laughs> drops the hammer on his crotch and now he's getting frustrated here he's got to keep his composure his debut match he's got to stay on this this opponent he can he can he can get through it but no the bread mask oh what's this oh oh there it is the move. plim plump no not not the plim plump flex but he bridges over oh and oh last second wrenched out couldn't hang on there. Not the Plim Plom Plex, which he's more used to ending matches with. Oh, nicely done. <laughs> I don't think it's possible, Sato. I'll see what I can do. I mean, I'll, I'll ask. Oh, I can't do it. No, it's perfect as is Satter, Satterfield. It's never changing. It's never changing, Satterfield. <laughs> see. Oh, he missed. Oh. Misses again, swats his feet out of the way. Le, uh, le blue blomber. Blue bomber. <laughs> the blue blomber. I know. Wow. The plim plom blomber. <laughs> oh, look at this backslide coming. Oh, no. He turned that into a full on bomb. Oh, no. This has not worked out for you. Brad Mask. He's no. Still going to the top. Again, up top. He's going for that same oh, maneuver. Still <laughs> I, th I gotta believe the only reason Blue Bomber is still in this is because of those miscues, all four of them. Because the bread mask has been all over him. He just plants him with the DDT there. And another <laughs> kick out. Unbelievable. This is a marathon. <laughs> oh, the Friday fuckboy might be the Wednesday wonder boy <laughs> after this. Oh dear. <laughs> Wednesday botch boy. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't been botching. He's mm. been sticking him. He's just he's been getting countered. Oh, well, that oh. Was one. <laughs> okay, there's your botch. <laughs> <laughs> and that nice side suplex to recover though. Mm. Oh, a chin breaker counter. These guys are so even. Oh, he misses with that big knee. But he gets his oh backbreaker in. Huge. And another oh. counter and a kick to the gut here. And a Hurricane Rana to put him down. And he rolls out of the ring again. This match continues. Jim, this is gonna go all night. It certainly is. And I'm Tarsus, by the way, Gorilla. God damn it! <laughs> We're never doing this again, Tarsus. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe we can see if we can get Jim in next week, eh? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> 
Oh, and look at this. Another one bridges. Not. No, he's doing the double suplexes again. <laughs> um, oh, oh and speed. they are both men are down now. Crawling over. Will he get oh, a this could be it? This could oh, be it. This has got to be it. Not much leverage on the pin. Oh. No, just the two count kick out again. <laughs> Unbelievable. No, there's oh, going to be Tarsus. no accents, Frosty. Tarsus, thank you so much for starting up this tournament because we're getting <laughs> matches like these. You don't see these anywhere else in the 2K19 universe. You certainly don't. No! Oh, no! He's busted him open. <laughs> He's busted open the blue bomber. He's popped his head like a blueberry. <laughs> and now the <Le> Bedmask <laughs> centers himself. <laughs> like a used blueberry condom. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Get a It's the Blue Bomber, Frost Lord. And he's putting on a match tonight, but he is bloodied and abused. He has been plim plum clues, if you ask me. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, and that vicious forehand, forearm. Oh, and the standing uh, standing moonsault, or send, bleh, shooting star press. Oh, but what a counter. Oh. Kicks up, kips up. Grabs him down with his legs. Oh, oh but he gets kicked in that bloodied forehead and Hurricane Rotter for himself, and he is oh, down. Oh boy, this could be it. Plim Plum Plex time, maybe. I think so. Nope, not the Plim Plum no, Plex, and he counted. counters out of it. Oh boy, what a match. Absolutely. And now just that vicious right hand with that huge fist, and he sends him outside. No, he hangs on. Oh, no, he doesn't. Gets punched out. <laughs> and now LeBredmask asking, what else does he have to do to this guy to get the win here? <laughs> Trying to hype himself up. You'll notice Flicky Flack, his manager, has literally faded into non-existence <laughs> up in that top corner. That surprises nobody. <laughs> yeah. Well, beautiful counter there and a nice drop kick. Boy, it's crazy. Oh, and he sends it. Oh, sends him into the barricade there. It's an absolute wall. Oh, he's gonna draw. He drops him on the barricade. Oh, oh and just a big boot to the head. And now <laughs> we could get a double count out here. Yeah. No, he sends him back into the ring. Blue Bomber's gonna have to set up something big to finish this off, but he is hurting. He's bleeding. This has got to be it. This is your debut, kid. Make the most of it. No, oh no, the gut the kick. Guts. And the bread mask. Oh the no, he plants him. <laughs> that could be it. That could be it. The self rock bottom. We've seen it end matches before. Here and comes the pinfall. To... Oh. And the two cow. He kicked out again. Unbelievable. Oh. Oh. We did. Le plim plom. Another finisher. Yeah, now can we finally see that plim plom plex? <laughs> no, no counter. Oh no! I think I saw some red there underneath his mask. Oh, and look at this! That's a oh, it's a teabag driver. It's a teabag driver <laughs> digging deep into his bag of tricks for the win. No, not the win. The kick out again. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh no! And he's countered out, pushed off, in the bread mask. Another, Another self rock bottom. It's over. Call it, you, uh, Tarsus. <laughs> <laughs> this has got to be it. Here comes the pin. It's got to be it. it and is. that is going to do it. The Brad Mavs winning what has got to be the match of the century. Five stars, says Meltzer. The <laughs> Brad Mask beating Blue Bomber in the first round. But you can't feel too bad about going out like that. That was as epic a match as you're going to see. Look at that beautiful rainbow cutter there. Unbelievable, Jeff. Incredible stuff. In all my Ooh. luchador Can years, I've never seen as great a match as that. Congratulations, LeBred Mass. Commiserations, Blue Bomber. What an entrance he made, but tonight it's for him. And now we've got a backstage stage brawl, a sanctioned backstage brawl coming up next. <laughs> We know it's Geeks Wargaming, and it's going to be against Flicky Flack coming out of his match. Oh, boy. He didn't really have to break a sweat in that one. <laughs> and now it's Geeks versus 
Flicky Flack backstage brawl. Here we go. Oh boy, Geeks of course repping the shit attire there. He's, we're happy to have him on board. Absolutely, fired unjustly from the JFW just a few weeks ago. He's come here and look at this. He's taken the fight right to the big man Flicky Flack. There are no weight divisions and shit. There's just toughness. And right now you're seeing Geeks Wargame and taking on the big man. He's back in that locker room. Sends him right into uh, somebody's uh, somebody's locker and stares him down for a big punch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that, though. That is a hell of a maneuver, dropping him on that 30 feet of concrete padded just by mm -hmm. the carpet. But no, he misses with the chair and has it wrenched away now by Flicky Flack. Oh, it sends him back into the uh, place he came from. <laughs> yep. Oh, and he drops that big elbow into the back of his neck. Oh, no. Mm. Chokeslam on it. No, countered, countered out by, by Geeks Wargaming and countered again by Flicky Flack. This is a backstage brawl. You don't need a lot of uh, finesse here. You just need to be a brute. And there, Flicky Flack showing off his brutishness. Absolutely. Me too, J5. I always love a good garbage can. <laughs> Flicky Flack not in any way taxed from his managing duties in that epic match with Blue Bomber and LeBred Mask. Barely stood there. <laughs> did anything else yep uh, well, yes, sends him into the corner here and look at this a couple tables lined up over there and Flicky oh. Flack looking for a flack hammer maybe nope sure looks like it oh, countered, countered out by geeks and he sends him not into anything that was weird and Geeks now trying to punch his way into control. Oh, no. Running powerbomb oh, through, the, through table. the table. Oh, no. It's got to be it. No. he He's still moving here. This is to a KO. <laughs> and Flicky Flack dropping that chair into him. Picking it up. Going again. Oh, Geeks is. Oh, we might have to get someone to look into Geeks. He's in trouble now. Oh, this looks rough. But no. Geeks hanging on here. Yeah. Tying up that leg into that uh, German suplex. Beautiful stuff. Let's see. Oh, he might send him into that. No, he misses misses that TV. Dangerous moment there. A lot of glass and electricity to be found. And Geeks, nah, he's, take, he's, side, he's trying to pick his exact spot to punch. And he chose the chin. Good call, Ooh. Geeks. Yeah. Ooh, uh, and another one of those. Innovative maneuver that, wasn't it? Absolutely. That's the second one he's hit in this backstage. And now the side suplex. Every single one of these falls hurts so much on all that concrete with that quarter inch of carpeting over it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Pile Dangerous driver. spot. Oh, the pile driver doesn't put him out, but it's got to put him down here. Geeks on top. No flicky flack punching his way back into this. Oh, pump handle coming up. Whoa. Relentless, isn't he, Flicky Flack? Yeah, if Geeks doesn't put the big man down quick, I think he's going to be in some trouble here after getting powerbombed. Oh, what a running knee, though. Mm -hmm. It wasn't Flicky Flack who did that, uh, Dimitri. <laughs> but hello. I mean, hold on. And now tr trading some punches here. Oh, big elbow to the face. Geeks Wargaming really showing. He uh, He's here to fight, and he hasn't really had a ton of opportunities in the JFW before getting shit-canned. But, hey, <laughs> speaking of shit, we're watching it right now. Round one action. Backstage brawl. Geeks versus <laughs> Flicky Flack. <laughs> yes, Tony. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, and now the action spilling back out into the hallway here. Geeks pursuing uh, Flicky, who's really hurt right now. Yeah, yeah it was. It was Flicky Flack. <laughs> Very <laughs> true. Oh, no. Oh, what a counter. That's some agility by Flicky Flack to counter that beautiful maneuver by Geeks. And now Geeks really in some trouble here. I got to believe this is going to be over soon, Jim. Tarsus. Yep. Um, Tarsus is my name. Don't wear it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great pump handle suplex there. 
Yep. He's, he's just he's just better at everything, really, isn't he? Flaky Flack, it seems. Geeks doesn't really have yeah. much of an advantage I mean, here. This is a tough one. Flaky Flack was just contending for the JFW World Heavyweight Championship at the last pay-per-view. He is a top-of-the-card kind of guy, even though if you forget about him because he's boring as fuck. <laughs> but uh, he's, uh, he. I mean, that would be a feather in the cap for Geeks to win this match. But, you know, and while he's looking on top right now, I don't really see any way that this is going his way if it keeps continuing because oh, oh look at that backstabber oh, oh my goodness maybe though. yeah now he's got him he's got him really stunned here geeks could turn this around <laughs> oh no oh this is his finisher tarsus oh yeah there it, it is, is. Yeah. and he's, he's won gonna... he's put him out oh, geeks no. has won this match congratulations geeks wargaming and now it is time for your main event, we don't wait around for nothing. Here we go, Extreme Rules match. And we know it's going to be Lamin is good. And he's taking on Shawnee. Oh, boy. The unfuckable one is here <laughs> coming off the table match win on Monday Night Claw. He will be challenging Lemon is good in this Extreme Rules match. Ah, don't worry about Amora, Dan. It's not worth worrying about. <laughs> I did too, Ansi. I really thought that was going to go in Flicky's, uh, in Flicky's <laughs> favor. Well, yeah, of good. course, dr this is uh, dress for business, no longer a thing. <coughs> Although Fan Fox and Lemon is good, still showing off their tag team acumen on that backstage attack on Monday Night Claw against Frost Lord. But uh, this is shit. This is a 1v1 tournament. So you're just getting one-on-one -on -one action tonight. And it's possible we could see Lemon is good versus Fan Fox if they can both go the distance. But that's several rounds away if that could even happen. Right now, Lemon is good has got to worry about Sean or the winnie Shawnee, the winner of this match, faces the winner three himself, Scaramezzo, in the second round. So you got to believe whoever gets the win tonight is going to have a short-lived run. Right, Tarsus? <laughs> That's right. Well done, Gorilla, for remembering my name. And uh, <laughs> Yeah, I've heard about donkey shows, and hello, the savior. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Show me the unfuckable. The unfuckable <laughs> at flashlights. <laughs> Shiny. <laughs> you can hear the crowd chanting, no way, Shawnee, no way, Shawnee. <laughs> he does get the crowd going. Absolutely. The dirtiest player in the game. <laughs> yeah, he certainly is, but it's been working for him. He's taken over the light heavyweight division of the JFW. No belt in sight for him as the uh, Chaos Chosen Championship <laughs> seems to have melted into obscurity around the waist of Rick Reckless. I uh, <laughs> don't even know if it's removable at this point, but that's neither here nor there. What's here is an Extreme Rules match. Anything goes in this one. No eliminations, no count outs. We know Shawnee's got a ball shot lined up for Lemon. What's Lemon going to do to counter it? Yeah, that's the thing. The extreme rules means that Shawnee's ball shot will be absolutely devastating. I've sure experienced that on a, personally on a number of occasions. <laughs> I'm sure you have. And here we go. Lemon is good. Your main event, Shawnee. And there, look at that that double stomp right off the bat. My other colleague, Jims, loves that maneuver. <laughs> oh, but he hangs him up and drops him on the ropes there. <laughs> See. I like the shit on his uh, trousers. That's a good touch, isn't it? Yeah, it's weird. It's like the safe bet would have been to put it across his ass, but uh, <laughs> wh whoever was costuming him decided to go a different direction. I think it really works because there's not much else you can put on him with that fucking muscle suit. <laughs> <laughs> True. <coughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Yeah, the white belt. Oh, I gotta let a dog in. Oh, Don't boy. mind me. <laughs> Gorilla. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, dear. I was gonna make a joke. 
All right, and the action spilling out to the ringside here. We got our cameras on them and chop fest happening. You don't want to get into a chopping match with Sean A, that's for sure. Absolutely not. He's got devastating chops, the hardest chops in the JFW. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and look at this. Oh, man, up close and personal look right now. That spin kick by Lemon. <laughs> devastating kicks. Oh, no, sends him into those stairs, though. And just savage punches and kicks by Shawnee right now. Lemon's going to have to turn something around here. <laughs> no, he sent in. Oh, no. Sent into the stairs again. Grabs the chair. <laughs> throws it down like you do. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no. And, yeah, let's get back to that close and personal action here. Looking right over their shoulders as they brawl it out. I like this camera view. I don't know how I don't know how the uh, the, the cameramen do this at shit. Uh, I will tell you, it's a it's a oh oh no oh Whoa. no they've hit the camera they've hit the camera. Okay, we, we've got our feedback. We've got our feedback. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you, you can only get to these camera angles, I believe, uh, when you're doing uh, non-universe matches. I could um, be wrong in that. Night Demon can correct me. There is an option to turn them on and off. So um, I don't know. Cool. Whew, lost our feed for just a second there, <laughs> but the action outside the ring again, no count outs, no disqualifications in this one. So it's just these two guys beating each other off until there's one victor. <laughs> and if one thing Shawnee is, as well as unfuckable, he's an expert in beating guys off. Stuff like that takes like an hour of my life, J5. You goddamn better believe I'm going to be happy when it works, <laughs> right? <laughs> Oh, nice maneuver by Lemon here. And yeah, oh, I'm wondering if they had forgotten about the <laughs> ring. Lemon finally sending him back into it. And this match is going to continue now. All right, thank you very much. Finally back in the ring. Yep, Lemon got to be in the ring to win. Oh, misses uh, Jim Saw's oh, favorite yes. move. No, oh, and glorious. he pays for it by the big, the big clothesline there. Now, Shawnee going defend. for something. What's he going to grab? Defend. Structural kendo stick, maybe. No, it looks, like a, oh, it looks like a table. This never works out for anyone. Oh, but he, he drills Lemon, throws the table down, picks it up again. Surely he's not going to hit him twice. No. No. <laughs> Oh, but Lemon missing with that double stomp again. And now they're teetering the table, trying to fight on that table. It's a little slippery. Hard to get a good uh, foothold. Yeah, especially covered in lemon juice. Um, <laughs> thank you very much, Thor, for staying fantastic for 41 months, by the way. Absolutely glorious. Thank you. Oh, and that big forearm now. And he sends him back into the ring. Hey, wait a second. What? That's that's Fanfox's music. Oh What's he God. doing here? This is this is no DQ, but Fanfox surely he can't get involved. He's going to be competition for either of these guys, and he is. He's in with the rock oh. bottom on Sean A. Loyalties remain. Look at that. Let's get another look. Big rock oh, bottom man. there, and now these two are just teeing off on Sean. A. Ref can't do anything about this. Oh man, this is this is a disgrace. It's it's, it's elimination. I mean, it, it, hey, you know what, though? That's how it That's how it goes. And here you go. Celebrating. <laughs> no, Johnny <laughs> kicks out. Johnny kicks out. Fanfox may be celebrating a little soon. And now Lemon calling. Nope. I thought he was calling for a trouble in paradise. Oh, oh he, he misses. Misses, <laughs> misses the trouble in paradise. And Shawnee. Oh, 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 second rock bottom to Shawnee by Fanfox. <laughs> Van Fox can't get the pin here, so he's just going to dance around a little bit, maybe do his crab walk. Yep, there it is. <laughs> oh, my. oh, my goodness. Extreme rules. These two taking advantage. And, yeah, say what you will about their decision. Perfectly legal. Shit endorsing something like this. Uh, you're not going to get an extreme rules match every time, so you might as well do it if you got a friend uh, hanging around. But Shawnee putting up a bit of a fight here. He oh, is, no. Yeah. That kneeling DDT now. Oh, he's, <laughs> oh, Fanfox calling for the rock bottom. Nope. <laughs> Lemon interrupting. No, he's not. Drops the elbow. And, oh, no, that could be it for Shawnee. Oh, and it is. Lemon is good as your winner. Second round. Lemon is good versus Skurimetso is coming for you. 
but right now tonight is about lemon is good. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Well, I don't know about that, Cocky. They did screw over. They did screw over me, Tarsis. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't. Uh, you can say what you want, Cocky, but you're not gonna find too many friends on on your side in that one. <laughs> and there you go, Lemon is good. Your victor tonight in the main event had a little help from his friends, and he gets the pinfall. Good night, Shawnee. Go back to JFW where you got your work count out for you. <laughs> wow, is is that the end of the? Ooh. Show, gorilla. That is your main event tonight. We we have seen it all tonight. Lemon is good, standing tall. And ladies and gentlemen, shit's just about started, but we will be back next week with more round one action. Good night and good luck. Glorious. Thank you very much, Gorilla. Don't, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.